Hey everybody, how you doing? Really excited about this video. This video has been a long time coming. I've been trying to do it for quite some time. But today you can see we're doing a paper plate test. But see these cartridges over here. In this video, we're comparing a 243 versus a 270. 243 versus a 270. This should be a whole lot of fun. This has been requested a bazillion times. I gotta give a shout out to one particular person, Charlie. I've talked to Charlie, I've been telling him this video's been coming a long time, but 243 versus 270 at the paper plates. We got 1200 paper plates set up. Let's see what happens. First, let's go take a quick look at the guns and the ammo that we're using for this paper plate test. Quick look at the cartridges there. 270 on the left, quite a bit longer, and then the 243 on the right there. Today we are shooting Winchester Super X for both rounds. The 270 is a 150 grain bullet, and the 243 is an 80 grain bullet. So the 270 bullet is almost twice as large as the 243. Let me show you the back of the box here because I know people are going to be asking me for it. Just real quick, at the muzzle, the 270 is 2850, and then check this out. At the muzzle for the 243, it's 3350. So the 243 is definitely screaming coming out of the barrel. Then I am very excited to be shooting these rifles today. You can see we have a matching set of Weatherby Vanguard Sporter Deluxes. Very, very nice rifles. Do a closer up shot of them. These are both the exact same model. One's in 270, one's in 243. Weatherby Vanguard Sporters. Two super sweet rifles. Happy to have our hands on them today for this video. We're gonna be shooting the same brand ammo. Let's go see what happens to these paper plates over here on the table. All right, ooh, another look at these rifles. They're super sweet walnut stocks. But first shot here is with the 243. Shooting through the cinder block. Let's see what happens with the 243 here. So I can honestly say that was the first time I ever shot a 243. Kick was pretty light, which is what I expected, but the sound of it was louder than what I expected to hear. But shot on the left side of the plates with the 243. Let's shoot at the right side with the 270. Then we'll take a look at the plates. All right, now we got the 270 out. 150 grain bullet. Remember the 243 was an 80 grain. 150 grain here with the 270. But Let's take a shot here and see what happens with these. So, oh, shot the 270. So, shooting them side by side, honestly, the 270 had a little bit more kick on the shoulder, but honestly, I couldn't tell too huge much of a difference even though the bullets almost twice the size didn't feel that bad at all with the 270 versus the 243 of course you know me i'm used to shooting big bore rifles 45 70 450 bushmaster and such but between the two 270 just a tad bit more recoil let's see if we can take a look at these paper plates and see what happened here the biggest argument that i see all over the place which is really not true at all is 243 versus 270 well the numbers themselves are super close so are they not pretty much the same rifle have the same ballistics that is absolutely not the case that's kind of like saying a uh, 300 wind mag is the same as a 3030 they both have 30s in them but they're nothing alike ballistics i won't say completely different but entirely different so 243 first 270 let's start digging into these plates and see what happens my guess is the 270 went through more plates, but probably because the 243 was going a lot faster, which is gonna make the bullet 
mushroom sooner and not go as far. But I'm normally wrong. Let's see what happens. The 243 I shot on the side closest to you and the 270 on the side closest to me. So I'm gonna move this cinder block here real careful like. And then I'm just gonna cut this sucker right in half. Ooh, interesting. I did not expect that in my mind. So both bullets actually went further than half. Keep in mind these are hunting rounds. These are not full metal jacket rounds. So they're meant to lose their energy. I'm gonna move this forward. The bullets are hunting rounds. They're meant to expand and lose their energy in a deer or what have you, whatever you're hunting. So I can feel that we're almost there here in the plates. So we have found the first bullet and it is surprisingly along with my guess the 270. So the 270 went further. Let's see if I can get this bullet out of here. The paper plates deforms these soft bullets in a crazy way. It's almost like oh, essentially there's that bullet. <clears throat> so you can see there, that's pretty wild how that 270 expanded and that's crazy hot and burning my fingers. You can see there how that 270 expanded. So we'll set the bullet there and we'll take a look at it in a minute. Set it up there so I don't lose it. And then see if we can find that 243 here somewhere. All right, so roughly speaking, this is how many places it takes to stop a 243, and that's how many it takes to stop a 270. But let's see if we can dig this bullet out here too. So let me show you this up close. The 243 actually, the bullet pretty much disintegrated into a thousand pieces, where the 270, the lead, and the case is pretty much all in one solid piece. The 243 pretty much blew itself into a bunch of pieces. Let me see if I can get you a look of what it looks like. So there is the last plate that cracked with the 243. When you look at it, there's just little bits of lead coming through those plates there. And then when you get a little bit deeper, it's literally just lead dust coming out there go a little bit deeper in here see if we can get a little piece of this lead to come out in one piece but you can see how crumbly it is there hey there's the casing looks like we were actually able to get a little bit of lead out of that 243 i'm gonna count the plates that each went through real quick and i'll get right back to you and then we'll look at the expanded bullets all right so i went through and counted all those plates let's take a look at the bullets and the results here there is that 243 lead that we were able to recover from the plates. You can see not much there. A lot of the lead came off. Went through 639 plates. The 270 went through 714 plates. And there you can see the hunk of lead of the 270 that we were able to get out of the plates. So 270 went through 75 more plates than the 243. The argument I hear all the time is, ooh, a 270 shoots flatter. It's a flat shooting bullet. And then the 243 people say, oh, the 243 is all the bullet you need. You don't need that huge bullet. The 243 guys, we're more about accuracy. We don't need those big bullets. But either which way, let me know which team you're on, which one you prefer. What animals do you hunt with a 243 or a 270? Me, hey, I'm sure they both work if you know what you're doing and you can shoot it well if you have enough practice here. But thanks for watching this video, guys. This was a whole lot of fun shooting the 243 versus 270. Let me know down below in the comments ideas for future videos. A big shout out and a big thanks to Heavy Metal Guns and Outdoors. Don't forget to check out their YouTube channel as well if you haven't already. Don't forget to subscribe to the Hootie Hoo channel if you haven't already. We've done this test with a lot of different calibers, both within rifles and pistols. So check out all those videos on the channel as well. Thanks for stopping by. We'll see you on the next video. Hootie Hoo!
We like to shoot 